Wasabi guys, welcome back to another Magic Market Watch. This is for June the 9th. And so far for the week, we have some pretty interesting price changes. And believe it or not, a lot of the surprising ones have nothing to do with either New Capenna or Battle for Baldur's Gate. You're going to be seeing some influence from Pioneer. Before we get into it though, if you appreciate these videos or any videos I do, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And we are growing fast already past 36,000 subscribers. So the first one to talk about is Reckless Rage. This is a Pioneer influence, and this isn't the only one, by the way. You're going to see other ones. Reckless Rage is an okay card. It was a good card back when it came out in Rivals of Ixalan because you had the dinosaurs with their triggered ability. I think it was called Enrage, where if you dealt damage to it, you would get some kind of ability. The point being is that you wouldn't deal enough damage to your creature to kill it, just enough to trigger its ability. This also dealing four damage to a target creature you don't control is incredible because for just one red mana instant speed, you're getting all that value. You're getting a kill spell and you're getting a way to trigger an ability. This is seeing play in a Boros aggro strategy for Pioneer, where you have a lot of those one drop creatures, either with prowess or some kind of heroic ability, where as you're playing this, it would give the creature an extra toughness so it wouldn't kill it off, but it would also raise its power. So this is crazy. This is like a lightning bolt, although you can't target your opponents. I can 100% see why this is going up close to $4. Next, we have Umbrus Fear Manifest getting back up around 10. I think this has a lot to do with the newer commander option that is a pure horror strategy. So this also being a horror creature that synergizes with other horrors, it would fit in perfectly. It also hasn't been reprinted yet. I know it's not even been a full year, but anytime you have a card that is more likely to be found in a specific precon and it doesn't get a reprint, but there are new strategies that require it, you're going to see it go up. And then we have Apex Altasaur. This one is seeing around $5 to $6. And this is what I was talking about. This is a dinosaur with the Enrage trigger. So whenever it's dealt damage, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. What's really cool about this is that you can keep it out there because it says up to one. It means you don't have to continuously fight other creatures. Just fight as many as you think you can. It is a whopping nine mana, but that's a pretty cool ability. I don't exactly know why it's going up, but maybe it's because people are starting to recognize how unique this ability is. And that it doesn't just have to be a dinosaur focused strategy to take advantage of it. And then we have another card again. I think this is Pioneer or it could be a modern sideboard card, but Rending Volley from Dragons of Tarkir. These are just uncommons, folks, and they're getting around three to four dollars. I can see why this would be a great sideboard card. Usually good sideboard cards are very specific in what they're able to target, what they're able to damage. The trade-off is that you get, again, great value, only one red mana, and it also can't be countered by spells or abilities. So massive upside to balance with the restriction on what you're able to do. But I'm telling you, I honestly did not think that Pioneer was going to have this kind of impact on just random uncommons from old sets like Dragons of Tarkir, Rivals of Ixalan. The fact that it is means I'm probably going to have to look into it more myself. I'm so used to just saying, well, this is because of Modern or this is because of Commander or even Legacy. Now we have a legitimate format after years and years of just throwaway ones like Tiny Leaders, Oathbreaker. I mean, they were fun while they lasted, but they did not have much of an impact at all. This is pretty serious. The fact that we're seeing week after week after week Another card that clearly doesn't see play in Commander, but is still going up. So to me, that's amazing. We get another one here, Play With Fire. This is actually an uncommon from Midnight Hunt, so it is technically still playable and standard. But I mean, it's not a significant price jump. We are talking about something that's been gradually this year going from under a dollar to about two dollars. Not really too much else there. Now we get to talk about some losers. And this is a pretty big one because I like the card and I never really tell people you should just go out and buy a bunch. I have people asking me whenever I think a card is on sale, they'll ask me how many of these they should buy. And I'll say, just buy whatever you want. If I like something, I'm going to be telling you all that I'm buying. And that's really me personally. So this getting under five dollars i think it's worth looking into it's a very unique very specific in what it does equipment you give a creature plus three toughness and you get to phase it out for that two mana i don't think it's been reprinted it might be in the list but even if it is, I still think people are going to seek out equipments like these, because to my knowledge, it's the only one that allows your creature and anything attached to it to phase out. 
I'm going to assume that it's getting a reprint in the list because that's a pretty significant fall. And usually you see that happen whenever there's a reprint. But you look at the chart, you go back to August of last year, not really worth much of anything from a pre-con deck. And then people started looking into it as a pretty underrated way of protecting your commander. Back in April it spiked and now it looks like it's coming back down to where we were for a while. And then next we have some pretty easy to predict losers like Blade of Selves. This is of course the reprint. And as typical when you see a reprint, it's usually not going to be as valuable as as the original card was. This will also cause the original to lose value, although I don't think it's going to be quite as low as the reprint. I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty significant print run compared to when it originally released back in that one pre-con deck in Commander 2015. So yes, a Blade of Selves for $5, that's a pretty good deal. Another one with a similar loss in value is Kindred Discovery, another card originally from a Commander pre-con deck. People have been wanting this for a long time because it just makes any tribe better. Do you play Wizards? Do you play dragons, do you play slivers, any tribe in blue and you'll easily abuse this. So anyway, let me know what you think about the first week of June. A lot of interesting things going on. I want to know your opinion about Pioneer. Commander Void here signing off. I will see you all next time.